We're going to have write a one. What are we going to have first off? Negative x. One. Negative negative x. x. Okay, somebody else want to have after that? Negative. Plus, negative. Minus. Minus. Plus or minus? minus. 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 Why minus? Okay. The plus 7x and the plus 8, those aren't going to change. So those are there. Take a close look at that, guys. Sometimes people get a little bit, a little bit iffy on this. Are you okay on why this became negative x and why this, especially this one, became minus 9? Nod your head if you're okay with that. Okay, good. We're almost done. We've got to combine some like terms. I see a negative x. I see a plus 7x. We're circling those with those signs. How much does that give us? Good deal. And lastly, I see the minus 9 or negative 9 and the positive or plus 8. What are we giving? So we're, what are we going to write? Perfect. Give one of these a try on your own, then we start building this up more and more, okay? You guys are looking good so far on this stuff, too. If you can master this and you can not see just two classes down the road for you, you'd be rock solid in the first two chapters for sure. That's good news. do this thing. Here's how we're looking at the problem. The first thing we look for when we're simplifying these expressions, we look for any parentheses and anything we need to distribute. In our case here, for sure, we've got that negative, or if you want to think about it, we got the negative one. We've got to circle that thing and multiply it times each of the terms inside of our parentheses. What it does, if you just have the negative one outside, the negative, it's going to change every sign inside. So here we, we do have the negative y, but we're also going to get negative one times positive 1, that gives you negative 1 again. So you should be writing a minus 1 there. Then the plus 3y and the minus 12, that really doesn't change. Raise your hand if you made it that far. That's, fa that's fantastic. So you understand that negative sign. That's really good. After that, we'll look for any like terms to combine. Of course, we have a few. We've got the y, the 3y. If I combine the negative y with the 3y, I use the addition rules. Addition rule says you have different signs here. You're subtracting. You're keeping the sign of the bigger number. You're going to get... Two y. Yeah, that's right, 2y. Finally, same thing for any numbers that you have. I'm noticing the negative 1. I'm noticing the negative 12. Those have the same sign. By addition rule, we're going to add those together, but we're going to keep the common sign. So right here at the very end, we're going to have minus 13. You can't combine those. They're not like terms, so you're done. You're done. We're going to make it a little bit, a little bit more. Ramp this up a little bit. Isn't this fun? Aren't you guys excited? Yeah, I could. I could see it on your happy, smiling faces. You're loving this. Tell you what, we'll do two more together. I'll give you a couple to do on your own to really cement this in your heads. We'll talk about perimeter and area one more time, and we'll end our section today. Okay. So we got this problem, looks real similar to the last ones we've done. We have a few different variables, unlike our previous examples, but let's see if we can accomplish doing this in some, some, somewhat a similar way to before. What number am I going to distribute first? Seven. 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 Let's do that together. Can you tell me what I'm going to get when I distribute the 7 across my parentheses there? 14. Uh -huh. And somebody else, what's the next one? 
negative 28b. Okay, so if it's negative 28b, what am I going to write? Minus 28. Perfect. I'm guessing y'all are okay with that one, yeah? Because we've done that, that several times before. Here's the big deal. I, I need you to watch carefully. Even put your pencils down if that distracts you. I want you to watch real careful on this one. The reason why I have you do this step, because some of you are like, why, why do we even circle that? What, why does it even matter? Check it out. In a problem like this one, if you distribute just the three, just the three, something bad's going to happen with your problem. You're not going to get the correct answer at the end. In fact, you're going to be way off because you're going to combine the wrong terms. Why I have you circle the number with the sign is because any time you have like a minus three like this one, that minus can actually be treated like a negative. Do you, you, hopefully you remember this. You remember how any time a minus, we have a minus, we could write this as plus negative, right? Do you remember that? We could write this as plus negative three, which means it's actually negative three, which you're distributing. So when we circle the number with the sign, we're indicating to ourselves that it's really not the positive three I'm distributing, it's actually a negative three. So that negative three is going to be going to both of these terms. Nigel, have you understood that part? Jeff, question? Um, what I used to do for like, I found, well, I mean, like, I don't know, but anyway, I would just break down the minus and then do the timesing, it still comes out with a negative. For the first one it does, but not the second one. It would be 3 times negative 2b, it would be negative 6. That's going to give you the wrong answer, man. It would be? Yeah, honestly. Oh, yeah, I see, because it's 2. Uh, okay. Right. If we're not taking that's that... That's what I used to do. I was going to do it wrong, man. <laughs> hey, now we're going to do it right. Yeah. No big deal. So we're, we're still learning here, yeah, but the, the idea is that negative, it has to go with the 3. If we just bring it down, which a lot of people do, you're going you're gonna to get this right. I guarantee everybody in this class is going to get this part right. Negative, uh, well, I, I just got it wrong, actually. Right <laughs> Ironic. Negative 12a. Everybody's going to get that part. Because if you just bring it down, you're going to get ne negative 12a, right? It's the next one I'm yeah, worried about. That's why I have you circle it. We do negative 3 times positive 4a. Of course, we're going to get negative 12a. However, watch the next one for me, OK? When I take negative 3 times negative 2b, what's negative 3 times negative 2b? Uh, right, so what are we going to write? Plus 6b. That's the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. That part right here, I look two places on your test. I honestly do. I look at the end answer, and I look right here. If you have the end answer right, I know you know how to do this problem. If you have the end answer wrong, I'm going to look right here to see if you understand the concept of distribution or not. If you have a plus here like you're supposed to, I know you, that you just made a simple math error. I give you some partial credit. Does that make sense? If you have this one wrong with a minus sign, I know you really don't get that you need to distribute that negative. Does that make sense? And then you get no credit because you, that's, that's the whole thing what we're learning right now. So what I'm having you do, I have to have you circle this because I have to have you know that sign gets distributed with that number. Raise your hand if you understood that. That was a big point, one of the bigger things we talked about today. Okay, good. So we have these signs correct. We've got our negative 12a. We've got our plus 6b. Hey, we're good to go for the rest of it. Let's just combine some like terms, do that on your own, and let's see what you get. Okay, so like terms time. I see the 14a, I see a minus or negative 12a, that's going to give me how much? 2a. And lastly, I see the minus 28b, I see the plus 6b, we're going to get what out of that? How much? Perfect. Did you get that too? Let's try one more together. I want you to see one thing about this problem, and then I'll let you go and have a couple on your own. <clears throat> this is about as bad as I can make it. If you guys can do this, you know how to do this stuff, which is, which is good. I think you're at this point right now. Um, really, when you think about it, I just said as bad as I can make it. Is it really that, is it really that bad? Uh, as long as you treat it as like three problems within one problem, it's not that bad. We're distributing a couple times, and we're combining like terms. No problem. One thing I can't have you do, though. I want you to think back to your order of operations, all right? Should I be subtracting right here? What comes before subtraction? 
parentheses. Well, ad addition if it was there. Parentheses do, first of all, very good. And how about, what else? Exponents. Exponents. Do we have no exponents, but what else? Do we have any multiplication here? Yes. Do you remember that any time you have a number next to parentheses, that means multiply. Okay, so it, when you get a problem like this, I know it's, it's very easy to just look at that and go, oh, 4 minus 3, that's easy, that's 1. I love math. You know, because that's, that's kind of nice. You just do that right away. But you can't do that. And the reason why you can't do that is your subtraction is going to come way after your multiplication. Uh, or multiplication has to come first. So don't get caught in the trick of, oh, I just subtract this first. It makes my problem look better. And then I distribute. I'm not sure if you're with me on that one. So are we going to subtract first? No. So I have a question then. Yeah. Is, that, is that, since we don't... Uh, Subtract that for us. Is that a negative three? We're going to treat that like a negative three. All That's right. exactly right. So let's go through the same process we just did with the previous problem. We'll look at this thing right here. What are we going to distribute first? What's the first thing here? Negative three to right. two x. Not just the three, but remember, I'm having to circle the number with the sign. That negative three has to go to both those terms. Let's do this together and see what we get. Uh, what's the first thing I need to write, folks? Four. Why the four? Yeah, we haven't done anything with it. Might as well be there. And then we're going to distribute. What's the first term we get when we distribute? Perfect. Yeah, this is the one that everyone's going to get right, right? I mean, if you just bring down the minus, you're going to have that part. Let's work on the second part. That's the more important part of this, where people make mistakes, but you're not going to. You're going to get what? Plus. Explain why it's plus. Very good. Cool. That's exactly right. If you guys can do that, you're going to be set. Next thing we are going to distribute is what? Let's circle that. We'll go to both these terms. First term we get? Perfect. And second thing we get? Well, what was that? All right. Let's see if we can combine some like terms because we just distributed that perfectly. Hmm? We're multiplying. Yeah, that 4 times 2, that's giving us that 8. Are there any like terms with the 4? No. What are we going to do with that 4 then? Okay. Well, they kind of just hung out the whole problem. We didn't even use that. I'll circle it though across out to make sure I know that I took care of it. Uh, what's some other like terms that you see up here? With what? 12. 12. 12. Okay. Combine and tell me what we get. 6x. I mean, plus 6x. Which one? Plus why, why is it plus and not minus? Because the 12 is higher than 6. Okay, we're using addition rules, not multiplication rules. So if it had been multiplication, yeah, negative times a positive is a negative. But with addition rules, subtract, sign a bigger number, you get plus 6x. Lastly, I'm seeing my b's. Got 3b, got 8b, we get plus 11b. I like it. Can we combine anything over there? No. No, not really. It's like saying you got four dollars, six xylophones, and eleven bananas. How much do you have? Four dollars. Yeah, you can't combine those. I've got uh, let's see, twenty-one dollars of bananas. That doesn't make sense. It sounds kind of fun. Are you ready to try a couple on your own? Let's see if we can handle this. So I'd like you to do this one. Let's start with 8c minus 4 times 3c minus 8 minus 5 and then 